Today, human decency has triumphed. A man has been broken so that many may live. I remember Nigel. 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 Oh, God, Nigel. Who's this guy? <laughs> you know, he was an original. He was a loudmouth. Nigel died? Wow, I'm surprised he lasted as long as he did, really. Was he? A We're only making plans for Nigel. We only want what's best for him. He invited me to lunch and he said that he would love to have a, a, a retrospective of eight of my previous films at the festival. And I said, yeah, okay, yeah, that's cool. And then he said, you know, it might be nice to see if on the final night we end up something new so that people didn't think you were dead. <laughs> uh, um, so I had to think of something I could do very economically, you know, very quickly. Uh, uh, so I came up with this idea about a group of people remembering a man they once knew and how everyone's opinion of this man is so different. You realise that nobody knew him at all. And, um, and because it, it came after people sitting through eight of my films, it was basically a piss tape on my life. And it was a bit of an in joke. It was only ever meant to be seen once, and then that was it. Anyway, so we screened it on the final night. It was only a short film. And, um, it uh, some magical moment. Uh, uh, people just laughed from the beginning. They cried at the end. And um, we weren't supposed to be in competition. And Richard said, "I've got to, I've got to give you the award." So we ended up getting the British Award, which was a surprise for everybody. Um, so uh, and then I had so many people after saying, you, "You need to turn this into a movie. You need to extend and turn it into a movie." So the only problem was that is that the, the, the more it, uh, I did that, the more personal it became. And, um, and then I went to, back to LA, and then I was uh, flabbergasted by how many brilliant people were, um, were, were willing to do it for no money. In fact, uh, Martin Landau gets a million dollars a week. Uh, did this film for $300. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it was very touching. But, um, but I think this subject matter meant a lot to them. And as Martin said to me, he said, um, he said, uh, and, um, he actually, I was walking down the last year and I was about to go to dinner and he phoned and I was unprepared for the call. So I, I, I dashed into a back alley and I said, yes, Martin. And uh, he said, uh, next week I'm doing this film. Four days, I'm getting a million dollars. Why should I do yours for that? And I said, you know, this is not a film that any of us got involved with Dylan Bridge quick. Um, I said, but I said, the, the underlying message of this film is what does anybody really know about anybody else? And maybe it was so quick to brush the judgment over people we ever got. And it was on all pauses. And he said, um, it's, it's a lot about celebrity, too. I said, yeah. He said, okay, what do you want? And he came and he did it. It was brilliant. So anyway, here is, oh yes, and some of the events have been exaggerated <laughs> for, uh, for hype oh, for no. drama and hype for comedy. Um, and uh, I noticed that uh, there's few color corrections. Or I'm in my haste to get to Hong Kong, I picked up an earlier version. So there's just one point where the woman is against the green screen, she has green hair. Trust me, that's not in the final form. All right, so here we go. Nigel, I love you, man. I miss you. Thank you, Nigel. Yeah, Nigel. You're not forgotten. And he said, that's the story of my life. Beautiful, but filled with melancholy. He had a heart as big as Texas. That's what I got. We're only making plans for Nigel. Nigel just needs that helping hand. I need young Nigel, say, see.
is happy. It must be happy. It must be happy. It must be happy. It is happy.